the first qualifier, you think it could very well be decided by how Chennai's batting power play goes, whenever it happens, because Faf, Duplessis and Nuturaj Gaikwad are in terrific form. And so are Anrik Nokia and Avesh Khan. There's also the extra rider of Aksar Patel, who was excellent in the game against Chennai leading up to the playoffs. So let's discuss that on Maruti Suzuki Presents, ESPN Quick Info T20 Timeout. Gotham. Rutraj Gaikwad's had a couple of low scores. Faf Duplessis seems great as well. How do you see this power play going? Is it possibly going to decide how uh, well in favour of CSK this match goes? Yes, uh, and they're going to be against probably the best fast bowling lineup in the competition. They're going to have what, mm-hmm. three fast bowlers who can bowl 140, 145, and on a wicket like Dubai, where there is something for the new ball bowlers. So I'm sure this is going to be a very crucial phase of the game. First six overs against Nokia Rabada and Avesh Khan, Rituraj and Faf Duplessy, because if you see number three, number four, uh, they've actually struggled for Chennai. Uh, Raidu is in some kind of a form, but after that, I don't see there's a lot of vulnerability. So first six overs will definitely decide which way the game is going. But Chennai would definitely want one of the two openers to probably go on to get a 70 or an 80 so that they can get a decent total on the board. Because once they could get 150, 160, they can still look to defend that. Yeah, you know, while all the focus has been on Anrik Nokia, who's been excellent in the UAE, Dan, and Avesh Khan's been a standout for the season. Akshar Patel bowls in the power plays and gets wickets. That's what happened in the last game against Chennai. So, while everyone's focused on the quick, fast bowler, left-arm spinner comes and does the damage. You know how that works. So, Akshar Patel, <laughs> is there a different approach, perhaps, to take against him? Uh, look, I, I think you have to assess the wicket against someone like him because of that pace that he bowls, because almost that undercut that he puts on it, he can... He can... I think confused batsman by bowling the same ball and how much uh, purchase he gets off that wicket. So I think he's very difficult to actually attack. Um, and therefore, the likes of a Moen Ali, if he gets a chance to bat against him, will we'll take him on. I, I think the right-handers will struggle um, because of his, his pace and his accuracy and his consistency. But if they have that um, Moen Ali or even Suresh Rainer, if he comes back into the team, um, they can take him on. Yeah, Gautam, you say this often, you know, that you can't win the game in the first public, but you can lose it. Would you advise, you know, this piece of short stuff thrown at Rutharaj, you know that Aksar Patel is someone that they generally take on. But in a qualifier, would you suggest that CSK perhaps just wait out, you know, make sure they don't lose it in the first six? Yeah, it's important as well because, see, it's... You need to look at getting 150, 160 because in a in a playoff, 150, 160 is a very good total. Plus, you've got the bowling to probably defend that. And uh, Delhi's got their own vulnerability as well. Delhi is not a side which is an un, uh, which is an unbeatable side. Delhi's got their own problems with their batting lineup. Yes, Prithvi Shaw plays one way. Shikhar Dhawan has contributed. Shreya Sayer sometimes against a quality bowling can be vulnerable. Rishabh Pant only plays one way. So if they can get a decent total on the board, they can actually probably put a lot of pressure on Delhi as well. But you end up getting out for 130, 140. Obviously, uh, the other side can actually scrape through. And you don't want that. You don't want a situation where you've lost two or three wickets in the power play looking to go really hard. Even if you have a power play of what? Six overs, 38, 40 for no loss. Still, you can manage to probably target one or two bowlers because Delhi has one more problem. If Marcus Tornis is not fit, they only play with five bowlers. And once you target one bowler, they've got nowhere else to go. And uh, that is where they should be looking to do. Ashwin is not in the best of rhythms. So rather than probably going really hard in the power, power play, they should look to target a certain bowler and probably look to get 160. Mm. Mm. If I had told you, Dan, before the tournament that Faf Duplessis is going to be in the race for the orange cap going into the playoffs and the leading overseas run scorer, would that have shocked you, surprised you? No, I wouldn't. I think he's had a renaissance the last two to three years around his T20 um game i think he's put away you know obviously the test matches and the one day as he's been able to focus on it and he's gone around the world um he was very impressive in the cpl with st kitts he led them well and he obviously batted well on some tricky conditions so i think he's just put everything into being a t20 player for the next three to four to five years he's, he's supremely fit and he's playing a game that i think teams around the world um really want and he's been aggressive but he's he's never reckless, and that's the ultimate combination for a, for an opening batsman in T20 cricket. Mm. Still amazing how he doesn't make the South African T20 squad, but that's a conversation for another day. Thank you, Dan Vittori and Gautam Gambhir. This should be a mouth-watering contest. Delhi's inform bowlers against CSK's inform opening batters. We will discuss that all on Maruti Suzuki presents ESPN Cricket and Footy 20 timeout on match day. <laughs> We call it people technology. 